Welcome to the Grozio Recreation Community Community Recreation Monthly Meeting. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States. Uh, uh, we need a motion to approve tonight's agenda. If, uh, if there's no additions, deletions, or changes, there a motion to approve. Gre no. Greg, I need a second. I'll second. Chad. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Uh, Leah sent out the meeting minutes from our last meeting. Um, is there any changes, additions, deletions? Otherwise, I need a motion to approve. Leah. Yes. Where you have the seventeen hundred dollars for Island Fest, I need that uh, changed to seventeen thousand. Oh. You need to add an extra zero on that. Thousand dollars. <laughs> okay. Any other changes, additions, or deletions? So, other than changing seventeen hundred to seventeen thousand, do we have a motion to approve? I'll make a motion. Greg and Ann, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes. Any public comment? Chairperson's report. Really, we're going to be talking about that with old business and new business. And since we're, we're behind, we're going to go right to the director. Kim? Yeah, just a couple of things going on. Um, and again, I was going to make copies that was running out the door, but a couple of things that we added to the water's edge swimming pool. Um, we've added some tables and umbrellas. We had a lot of requests for shade. Um, and thanks to Chad shopping, finding good prices for those items. We were able to put those out there this year. Um, we also had the luau back in July and my report is for events that were going on in July on July 19th. We had about 50 participants for the luau. Which, it was a beautiful night, great turnout, great event. Um, at the marina, we still have three open wells. Um, and again, the season's kind of winding down, but we are using those three wells for overnight dockage and transient dockage. Um, the, sh the shrink wrap has been picked up. Um, that was picked up this past Tuesday, so that is off the premises. Um, and I'm heading into a meeting with um, my staff and also Greg down at the marina to revise the fall and winter and spring and summer contracts for the marina. We're gonna fine tooth comb those. Um, we've got a couple of new ideas and I'll obviously speak to the commission about that with the shrink wrap and when the boats need to go in. And also I know we've had some transient docket issues and so forth. So um, when I get that, that's gonna be a specific report with contracts presented to the commission. Um, over the last three weeks, um, I've had the electric company down there, um, lots of, um, repairs. I know that's been an ongoing issue as well. So I'm doing the electric, electrical repairs and stages. Um, so we had about $3,000 worth of work done down there um, to the marina. Just try to upgrade some of those um, old circuits down there. Um, the playscape, um, the cameras have been installed. And again, this is coming from Chief. And those should be up and running by tomorrow. And so that's a good thing. And the playground has been sprayed two times this summer. I'm gonna schedule a third one. I know the bees are still there. So just, you know, communication from the patrons using Playscapes, give us a call if you see a nest or anything brewing out there. Uh, my staff goes out there um, usually two to three times a week, walks the grounds, but sometimes we don't catch the bees. So if you're out there playing, just give us a call. So um, we're in the loop with that. Um, the farm is at the farm. The floor is going in as we speak. It will be completed by tomorrow night. It does look beautiful. Um, we also have also purchased new drapes and tapestries and everything. So the room is really going to look nice. So I'm excited about that. The senior luncheon was held on August 2nd, which was just recent. And we had about 30 attendants for that event. Still having our golf specials. Um, Tuesdays and Fridays, $10 and seniors are $8, and that's been ongoing all summer. And Sunrise Park, um, the kayak ramp is installed and ready for use. It's working great. Um, there are some signs out there, just follow the rules and regulations for your safety. Also, we've had our senior group, the Senior Olympics was held in Trenton 
July 31st through August 4th. I think we had about 22 seniors participate. I attended the opening and closing ceremonies. Wonderful event. Um, just real impressed with that. I'll be more involved with that, obviously, next year. And I have a lot of stats. And again, this is all written down. And I will, I'm not going to read them out loud tonight, but I will present that to the commission in writing, just so you have stats on how many people were registered for each program, how many rounds of golf, those types of things. I usually have that ready for you tonight, and unfortunately, I ran out the door. Um, but I also want to announce that we do have a new Facebook page. Um, it is under Gross Eel Recreation. We got that launched. It looks really well. So like us so you can have the current updated information for um, Gross Seal Recreation. And the final piece is we are in the final stages of the fall and winter channels, and that will be hitting the households. I believe we're shooting for Labor Day weekend, and we'll have all the fall programming in there. So that's what's been happening. Okay. Questions for Kim? I have one. We got the cameras. Okay, we got the cameras at the um, Playscape. Is, is there a way Joe can help us out with Sunrise or the airport? Too? We're working on that right now. The Sunrise plan is being discussed as we speak. Yep. What about the doors at the farm, at the where the floor is going in? The back doors where yeah, the water the, is coming in? Where we're resealing the, the doors. In. Yes. So that we're taking care of that problem, so it yes. won't reoccur Absolutely. within 30 days again. That is correct. Because it's coming, actually, I think some, and Jean's been out there, we've been monitoring each time it rains, it's coming through the door, not through the ceiling. So it's just a matter of resealing the door, and we are going to take care of that. Okay. Yep. Good. Okay. Any other questions? All right, thanks, Kim. All right, old business. All right, we uh, we had a discussion about irrigation for the Grozeal football team at the uh, soccer uh, airport fields. Um, we told them that we said, you know, we're all for it, but they got to go through Commerce first. So um, they did approve it, Commerce did. So I'd like to have a, uh, make a motion that we second Commerce's um, uh, approval, that we approve of irrigation going in by the football, football uh, league. And I need a second, please. Oh, sure. I'll second it to get it going. Okay. All right, any questions at all about the... Who, who the, moved the... You can't discuss it till you move it and... Oh, yeah, yes. All right, do, do we have a second? I second it. Who, okay. So now we can discuss. All right. Your mic, please. <laughs> Ed Shippey. Hello? Um, and correct me if I'm wrong on anything I say here. Uh, Giza Football is going to install irrigation on the... Gyra their, Football. Gyra Football, sorry. Uh, Gyra Football <laughs> is going to install irrigation on their football fields. They are going to pay for it, and they are going to pay for the water. Correct. 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 All right? Mm -hmm. What we've done is we are going to approve this, and then they're going to go to the airport. Airport? They already came? They already went to the airport? They airport already went approved. to the airport. My, my bad. So they have both approvals of both commissions. And now they're going to take it to the township, Correct. and the township has final approval. Correct. Okay. Into my discussion. All right. Any questions? But it's good that you went through the whole I thing. I do. How are we going to monitor, monitor the way they water those fields and the cost? way? They're getting, oh. having their own meters put on. They're going to have their own meters put on? That's what I was told. Mm -hmm. And that's also... Or football. Guy reflect. Yeah, I'm they're, they're taking care of it. Any other questions? And, and I, I just want to add, I have the user agreements, which is also a discussion item. Um, and also, I spoke to both user groups, and we are all on the same page about the projects. Um, and soccer will um, bring that project up tonight. But the user agreements is part of this package because there's maintenance issues as well. And those have all been presented to me by the, the city attorney. I got those two days ago. So it's kind of all... A package, yes. Mm -hmm. Are we are we going to get a chance to look at those user agreements? I'm handing them to you tonight. Okay, thank yeah. you. All right. Anything else? All right. Those all in favor of this motion, say aye. 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 All those opposed, say nay. Motion passes. All right. So now we got new business. Giza soccer 
would like to talk about some irrigation. Do we think we have a representative that wants to talk about it? George, what's your last name again? Fulmer. George Fulmer from Giza. Signed in. Pitches to the Tigers. So I guess um, we'd like to do the same thing, irrigate our, a couple of our fields, just two of them, um, the two southernmost fields. But, um, but I, I guess now if you guys are going to approve this plan for the, uh, the airport park, that to to uh, with the uh, baseball fields like you're talking about and all that that might change our whole line of thinking because if we're if we're able to put these three fields down in the south of the parking lot that might we'd, we'd have to fence that in and, and maybe we'd irrigate that area as well so but for now I guess we're talking about irrigating the two southernmost fields that we have those would be north though I think George if right. you're looking at this map they're the north that's yeah your soccer fields are Rec north property goes north from the airport yeah no, 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 but the southernmost fields right the southernmost field on the right so right. he's saying he's oh all right yeah yeah we'd like to have a point on that one yeah yeah we'd like to uh, well the, this is existing i'd like to irrigate these two fields here as it stands now, this one. Yeah. Yep. Right. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, because because then we may want to go to the north, and, and irrigate our two biggest fields, which would be our existing and then our new one. Right. So. No, I get what you're saying, but we 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 can at least control what's in our property, yeah. and it's until we get. Right. Yeah, see, we'd like to irrigate everything, but right now we only have the money to do a couple of them, so I guess it really doesn't matter to you which which two or if we do all of, if we have a blessing to do all of it then but if we have the money we do all of it and we, our intention is to eventually do it all but for now i think we're going to start here and then work our way north so i guess what is that field? Uh, all this over here that's a soccer field currently it just it doesn't have the goals in it yeah it's just not drawn properly but it's, it's an existing 99 no, field. Exist it would it will be it'll always be in a soccer field. Yeah, George, the, the intention is. I got a question. The um, I would recommend that you take this approval tonight to irrigate what you guys have now because okay. these plans might be years in the making. Yeah. So and I know you have games and practices all the time, probably starting soon, just like gyro and all that. But okay. Uh, and then this property where these other fields are is. Uh, airport property. So you're going to have to go through what Jaira just did with us in airport and township and da 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 da. Okay. It's going to be 2015 or 2025 or something. I so okay. I just, you know, so it might be best interest to go with the irrigation that we've already approved. What about, and we talked about, we talked fencing this in as well. Where are we at with that, I guess? Is that up for approval as well? Because we'd like to put a fence you know, tying into the Jaira building and then coming across and then. Our original thought was maybe come across here, then up the road, and then across, blocking that off to keep people out of this area, and then you know from going out of the field. Plan should come before the fencing, right? Do you yeah, think the? And it's kind of a temporary, but yeah, but we wouldn't want to put all that in if it, if the approval right. for the configuration, but we, you know we wouldn't want to do it then have to rip it all back out. Difference, I don't think, but it looks like a slight one. Well, the fence they have now, it's that it's railroad ties with that metal stuff that runs through right. it. They want to put a split rail. They said they weren't going to use cement to put the posts in the ground. So if it does need yeah. to be taken out, it can Easily, be. Yeah. And they're going to pay the foot the bill for that too, right? right? Yeah. So uh, that was, just yeah. Yeah. Oh, and we, yeah, we agree with that. Yeah, we're, we understand that. No, and we, we're not under the false assumption that by putting a fence in, we own the place. <laughs> so we know that. 
Oh, do you, somebody want to make a motion for either ones, for either uh, proposals? Fencing for the irrigation that, you know. Can I make a comment? Yeah. And again, um, but I'm, I'm all for improvements, as I said, throughout this whole process. I just ask that the same question that I asked football is if you can present what your, you know, the plan, the company, the bid, you know, to me so I know exactly what's going on because I need to know when things are going in, when the fence is going in, those types of things. So I just ask for full communication that I'm briefed on all those. Football was great with me. I knew, I knew the company, all those types of things. That I think they even presented who the company they chose and the dollar amount that they were spending on that. They did. The irrigation. So, um, both from Crozier Lawn Sprinkler. Okay. Right. Yeah, just just so we have that for the file and all that. Right. Okay. But we'd happy to get you that information. Right, and you know, say, and again, that all falls into the user agreements. We're going to tie this all together, um, and just make you know. So when we've talked about it, you're going to pay for the maintenance, the water, any repairs. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's your thoughts about the fencing, Kim? Um, I think the, fe I mean, I know the fence that's out there now. Um, it's not a good fence. Cars can get over it. Um, I think the fence is a, is a good idea. It also enhances the property as well. It kind of gives that soccer's kind of here and football's there. Not, you know, we're sharing the space, yes, but every almost every soccer field I've gone to, there is a fence surrounding it. So, so for the aesthetics, it's going to look nice. As long as some permit yeah. right now until the plan's approved. Yeah. You're, you're well, let, how about a motion? This is a motion. We'll, uh, We'll make a motion, or I'll make a motion that uh, Giza can install an irrigation system and the fencing as long as they get plans submitted and approved by Kim prior to any work beginning. I will second. Pretty happy with that wording. Sure. Kim, does that, that sounds that's reasonable. fine. Yep. Good with that, Leah. Oh, I don't have my computer. I'm faster with the computer. Okay. Any other discussions? You want to make any other comments? All right. All those in favor say aye. Uh, uh, aye. All those opposed say nay. All right. Motion passes. The kids. All right. So speaking about this plan. Everybody had this for a long time. This is the existing field, how it goes right now. Kim, after much discussion, when Chad, you guys reviewed all this stuff, we're kind of looking at this one right here. It's called 3A. Um, because of commerce, you know, and what they've done for us for the agreements already with the football field and Gyra. Um, over the years, nothing's been going on in commerce. I'm hoping maybe that we can get into another land use agreement with the commerce department for soccer fields that would be right here. And this would be something that wouldn't be structural or permanent, you know, it's just all fields. So I think they've made a good choice with that. The ball fields, of course, I think it's probably going to be something more in the future because we're going to have this one right here, probably the first one to go in. But uh, anyway, what's the commissioner's comments on these plans? Do you guys like this one? Or is there another one? What What's the thought? Um, my feeling, it's like 3A, I like because... The soccer fields are all right in a row. You've got excess, you've got parking that's available to all the lots, so it's not like all one side or the other. And then the football field, or the salt, then the baseball fields on the, on the, would be the western edge, have plenty of room and they're not all squashed up like at the north end kind of thing. So I like 3A. Yeah, this will have 420 parking spaces right, right here. Opposed to the 190 we have right now. Kirk, In case correct. the public can't see those numbers. As opposed to the 100, 190 like Chad <laughs> said. <laughs> Greg, you got any thoughts? 
Chad? I think it's a oh, okay, sorry, sorry, my mic wasn't on, so. Oh. I think it's a good plan. I, again, it's just, my concern is always that uh, anybody that, you know, with, the, with permission and blessing can use the fields. You know, it's just not strictly baseball, football, or soccer. You know, I mean, anybody should be allowed to use the fields. That's, that's my only concern, you know. Good point. With permission from Rock, the from Kim. Part. Right. Well, with the user agreement, or what are you calling them? I'm sorry, Kim, user they're, agreements? They're user agreements for user agreements. all three groups. What's your thought, Chad? I'm down with 3A for sure. Leah, do you have any comments? Yeah, no, I, 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 I it sounds fine, looks fine to me, and I, but I particularly am interested in those people who are not a member of the, the groups that are doing all this work, that the people who are using them understand the proper use and follow the rules and regulations, which is going to mean that we're going to have to have signs and et cetera up. That's my only concern. I'm all in favor of anybody using the fields, but I don't want somebody driving a truck through it right. or uh, you know, coming in with some kind of all vehicle land thing, you know, that's small and thinking they can go in there and not face some pretty serious consequences. That makes sense? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Jim, you got any comments? Like this one? And just want to remind everybody, this is the, the plans that we had all the groups that were involved that touched this field. They were all in on this, and this is where these plans came from. So, all right. All right, so I, I need a motion then if we want to approve the um, moving forward with uh, Plan 3A. Anybody want to make a motion? Move it. I'll make a motion that we uh, proceed with uh, Plan 3A um, as long as all the service agreements are signed and with the understanding that anybody else that wants to use the fields can use the fields as long as they also get a user's agreement from the rec department. Need a second? I'll second. Right. Greg? Greg and, yep, and Ann. Any other discussions then, really? I mean, we, we, we understand that since, Kim, we're gonna put something on here about like, see what we can do like we did for the football fields, you know, the, the, the use and see what commerce says. This is all gonna hinge on commerce, I guess, and stuff. And and Jim and his influence will probably be able to, will be able this is plan. Any other comments? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say nay. All right, motion passes. All right, subcommittee updates. Jim Nelson, do you have any updates you'd like to add? Uh, I have two things. Number one, uh, the Marina Kim is three slips from being filled currently. Going forward, uh, the marina is a money-making part of recreation. Uh, might be the best money-maker that we have because there's not a lot of maintenance. So I would like to look into uh, the south end of the marina. There's not a seawall all the way down there. The ADA kayak ramp is down there. I would like to look into expanding the marina to the south as far as we can go and adding at least one dock plus the finger or more. So I want to, I don't care what you're going to call it, uh, talk about it, uh, beat it up whatever, whatever, whatever. I realize it involves a lot of different entities because, you know, the DNR is probably involved and yeah, yeah, DEQ, I guess I should say. But I, I want to explore it because right now, in my opinion, that's wasted space. So we do have plans and we have the property that goes all the way to, to the, to the um, golf course that we own. We have plans for all of that at dockage. DEQ would not allow water or electric, but we could just put in dry docks. 
and we had this basically um, revolving thing where we could re-up the permit, but unfortunately we let it expire years past or whatever. Someone didn't put in the proper paperwork, whatever. So then we tried to resubmit again, and there was an endang endangered species that the DEQ did and said that that was their, um, you know, their spawning area or something like this, whatever. But, you know, that's that was already been a while, too. So. How long ago was that? You know, I'm going to say probably when that happened, I was still with Tim Rooney. So you're probably talking, I want to say around five years ago, six years ago. So could we at least revisit it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. To be, can to can be I make a suggestion? No. Again, it's okay if we get told no, but I want to turn over all the stones. But we do have plans. Dale Reum should have plans okay. for that whole thing. Jim, what you might want to do too is talk to City of Wyandotte. They got a grant to put in a marina, right? Yep. So uh, they might know some ins and outs of getting some money. Right from the state or from the feds, and things change. I mean, because they wouldn't. They said they wouldn't allow electric or water, and now that could be all different now too. You right? Because I mean? that's was there. I would like to help spearhead that project too, or be involved in some way with the the marina. And and, and I want to say it was like forty or sixty slips or something. I want to say I want to say something outrageous. I'm thinking twenty slips, deep well, so we can bring in bigger boats. Uh, you know, deep dredging, bigger boats, more feet. I mean revenue is generated from the bigger boats if they have places to come like that but we also have to pay attention to the the tenants that we have down there and there are some existing conditions that need to be looked into but i would love the idea of expanding that marina yep. down there that's definitely a public hearing one too okay as part of that and this is kind of a uh touchy subject the uh kayak launch that is there for the handicapped yeah, uh, I hear it's never used. Uh, I'm sure it's used once in a while, but I would like to turn over all the stones again. I know it was part of a grant that paid for part of it, whatever, whatever, whatever. I was told that it was the wrong structure in the first place, that it never should have been, should have been there. But the one that we have there is almost impossible to use for people, even the ones that aren't handicapped. And I heard this from three or four different people. So what I want to find out is, A, is it usable as it sits? B, what are our options? Something to do with it, move it. Probably can't so I don't know what you can or can't do because it was a grant and I understand there's lots of rules about those things. But again, I would like to find out all that's going on with that because I just and I'm not against handicapped people at all, but it just sits there and if nobody is using it, we got to figure out a way to use it. Now, even if you, and we probably can't do this, but even if we had the right one, if that's the wrong one, if we had the right one there, would people, not handicapped people, use it instead of, if they didn't want to go down by the travel lift, they could use that one if, in fact, it's okay to use. I've been told that the current down there is pretty bad. So... I don't know why we have an ADA launch in an area where the current is kind of not real good for people that aren't handicapped. And I don't know who looked into it. I don't, you know, this is all in the past, and it doesn't matter what was in the past. We need to move forward and find out what we can find out. I'm all about solutions and moving forward. I know all about all the problems, but I want solutions to move forward. Location was picked by con consultation with Kayak Connection that surveyed the area. Um, Kim knows the importance of universal accessibility and stuff like that. So I mean, we really don't have, really have to look at the universal accessibility as accounting how many people use it. It's that she needs that and that's gonna help her get points for any kind of grants on that site. So please keep that in mind. Sure. Um, that was vetted big time. Um, but I would have to say Township Hall, whatever, once again, I'd get back up to Dale because of this transitions of all these directors. But uh, there's, there was definitely a lot of homework, and I'm sure that they have lots of files on, on all okay. that stuff. 
But I do know those, those few things, though. Yeah, I just, you know, I, I see it. I know it's kind of a reach, but I see the area is a potential for a lot of good stuff to happen. Uh, you know, bringing in money is pretty important, obviously. And if we can make that more of a cash cow, so to speak, uh, I like to do that. I mean, you know, we don't make money at the golf course. We don't make money at the farm. Are we considering charging for kayaking then? Is that what you're thinking then? Or? Not going there yet. Oh. But, you know, I, I just want to, all the facilities that we have, I just want to make sure that we're doing the best we can do with what we have. And, of course, Kim is totally on board, and thank God she's here because she's turning over all the stones. And I'm not here to pat her on the back and tell her she's great, even though that's the truth. At the end of the day, I just want to make all the stuff that we have, we have some nice amenities, and I just like to make them work as good as we can make them work. Cool. Any questions of Jim? No, I have a comment, though. Okay. I find that uh, the most use out of our kayak launches, one is a piece of green carpeting, and the other is something that they put at Sunrise Park over a weekend, and people are loving them. So that was my comment. <laughs> It's a very, very popular true. activity. It's true. Very popular. Uh, you know, I see them all the time in front of my house. They are always coming up. I know. I should put a launch in at my place. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I get a little nervous about, I'll say it on the air, about kayaking in a river where there's a five or a six mile current running through. A lot of times they just leave off the astro turf, for lack of a better word. They turn right and they go right down the thoroughfare canal, uh, which is it's just it's right there. Uh, you know, I see people out in the river. And I'm not sure that's, but they go they go at their own risk. But at the end of the day, I, anyway, I'm just a little nervous about where they go with those kayaks. And if Kathy Walker is listening, I'd be more than happy to talk to her. Oh, all right, Leah, do you have any open space and greenways updates? Okay. Mr. Novak. Yes. Could someone... Kaylee. Oh. oh. oh I was going to put Kaylee to... Want help? Uh, we need some things switched around here. Well, first off, I'm going to start with Paint the Town Red. Uh, we have four organizations. We have the uh, DDA, the Recreation Department, the Festival Commission, and the Rotary. We are putting together a three-day event, Paint the Town Red, during homecoming weekend. It's September 22, 23, 24. I'm gonna give a brief description of this, and then if there's any questions. Uh, this has been in the talks for a few years since we did our centennial celebration. But Friday night, September 22nd, is the homecoming parade, around 4.30 in the afternoon. After the parade, there's gonna be Rotary will sponsor free hot dogs and bottled water in Lions Park. Lions Park is the little park at Macomb Street and Lions Drive that comes out there, in case anybody's questioning it. Uh, there's going to be a lot going on that weekend. Uh, the homecoming game, so far I was told we were playing the Flat Rock Rams, but that can change? I don't think so, but... No. Or it's gonna, it doesn't change, change or no. it's just... So, who's playing? All right, so we're playing the Flat Rock Flat Rams. Rock. Flat Rock, we're playing that's, for homecoming. You can't change that. That's what I figured, right? I thought, who told somebody told me that? Anyways. No, no, that's a done deal. <laughs> that's done. I'm not a sports aficionado, but... All right, so Flat Rock Rams is the homecoming game. Then after that, we hope to have a few of the businesses and locations up and down Macomb Street to uh, have a little bonfire here and there, and you can go and wander and hang out at Ohana House or uh, a couple of the building companies do things there. Saturday, September 23rd, we'll start at two in the afternoon. We're gonna kick off with Taste to Grow Zeal. All the restaurants, clubs, businesses have been invited to do some kind of taste of their products or their menu, and it will all take place on Macomb Street, up and down the street. So you can come on down and do the taste of Grozeal. Also at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, the craft beer and entertainment, the beer garden, I was told, is, uh, is that how you say it? beer garden, will be at the Fifth Third Bank parking lot, and that is being hosted by the Grozeal Alliance for the Arts. 
They will have multiple craft beers that you can uh, purchase for sample trays or choose one out of the many selections we have. There will be fun fair activities for the kids. There will be a petting farm that will also be at Lions Park on Saturday afternoon, along with uh, fundraisers for the equestrian club, possibly. There will be uh, balloon guys, face painters. Kiwanis is going to be doing a lot of the, uh, help me out here, Kim. What is it? Kiwanis was Oreo doing. stacking and... Uh, they're backing, uh, they're doing their thing at the gazebo at uh, the Commons. So everything's going to go up and down Macomb Street from the Commons all the way to where Nate's Market once sat. So um, we want, this is a time for our business district to shine. This is a new festival, an event we have created for our business district. We want the residents, surrounding communities, everybody should come support this wonderful event. Sunday is going to kick off the Tour de Eel, which starts at 7 a.m. Oh, I want to also say that Saturday evening, while the kids are at the homecoming dance and stuff, mom and dad are more than welcome to stay on Macomb Street. Um, we will have live entertainment all through the day and the evening at the beer, beer garden area at Fifth Third Bank. Sunday at 7 a.m., the Tour de Eel kicks off you want to sit down on there there we go which this is the third annual event this is hosted by the rotary uh grozil chapter Ch grozil chapter rotary um the registration is approximately around 8 a.m 8 30 a.m that will also be at lions park in the tent under there the registration takes place knights of columbus will be doing a pancake breakfast all these times are subject to change. So whether approved, you know, groups, all that. So uh, Knights of Columbus, Pancake Breakfast, Sunday morning. That will also be in that area of Fifth Third and Lions Park. After the Pancake Breakfast, approximately around 12 in the afternoon, a food truck rally will come in. You'll be able to go and you'll be able to purchase your... Um, I think there's like a dessert food truck and there might be, I know there's an sushi one, but there's a barbecue, I don't know, John Bergen's handling all that right, with the right. food truck. So it's a food truck rally. Um, there, there is a business and bike contest that will start uh, a couple of weeks leading up to homecoming weekend and paint the town red. It's for the businesses and residents along Macomb Street too to decorate the front entrance ways or their windows of their businesses. We're trying to get people to get bicycles to put a bike, kind of goes in with the Tour de Eel thing, put a bicycle out in front of their business or their residence on Macomb Street and decorate it. On Friday, after they choose the homecoming king and queen, Sunday, they will announce the winners of the business contest, decorations, and the bicycle contest. And that wraps up Sunday. Um, also, the churches, uh, a couple of them have already committed to the uh, pie baking contest. We're trying to get a hometown feeling, an old school hometown feeling for this event. So we're going to have a pie baking contest. Uh, I'm not going to say which congregation said they got this in the bag because of some of their bakers, but these ladies are great. And hopefully we're going to have a pie throwing contest to raise money for some organization where the... It's been politicians, policemen, whoever we can get, high-profile people to get up there and have a chance to have a pie thrown in their face. I know many of you would pay a dollar to have a little whipped cream thing tossed in someone's face. So, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> we have a Jim volunteer. Nelson. Jim Nelson. Yes, oh, Mr. Trustee, one. Mr. Nelson Trustee just uh, volunteered, too, that he will do that. So, but that's not, that's not the uh, pie contest. That's a separate thing. It's pie in the face, and there's the pie contest. Um, and then Sunday wraps up with the, the, the bike and business um, showcase with the announcements of the winners and an ice cream social. There will also be uh, live entertainment Sunday afternoon. So everything from petting zoos to beer gardens to tour to eel, there's a lot going on. I want to thank Angela Sokokis, the DDA director, myself with the Festival Commission and my group, um, uh, Kim O'Farrell with the Recreation Department, and John Bergen and the Rotary team for uh, all their involvement with the Paint the Town Red. So that's Homecoming Spirit, September 22, 23, 24. Keep your eyes and ears open. All the signage and stuff is going up over this weekend. You'll see everything coming up. I think that's what I was going to plug was Tour de Eel. Oh, yeah, one other thing. If you're a boater, this Saturday at Dunbar and Sullivan, there's a Pirates party. It's the fifth annual. It's a pretty big deal. I'll be out there. <laughs> they do like a dinghy contest, and they have prizes they give out. So that's a Dunbar and Sullivan uh, Pirates party this Saturday. Any questions of Chad? Chad, is there a central point someone can go and get all this information that's going on, like an itinerary? 
Yes, if you visit all the new, well, the rec department has their new Facebook page, the Island Fest Facebook page, the DDA Facebook page, and the Rotary. And there will be links for uh, if you want to like re register your business or your bicycle and stuff like that. So all the information will be coming out. And of course, on our wonderful GI Connect app, if you go under events, it will be listed there shortly. Grozeal website, right. probably. I met Grozeal Township Rec. website. My number's in the Grozeal directory, you know, the Rotary directory. Don't call me at home. You know, I've got my cell phone number, but yeah. Chad, for all the non techies. Yes. Detailed brochure at Island Businesses. Not on the new posters, Leah, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, about two weeks before the event, though, there will be, thank you for bringing it up, there will be brochures at all the businesses all around the island that says the exact times and locations and the detailed information. So let's say the second week of September, you'll be able to walk into the hardware store or Ohana House or the marketplace next to Lloyd's, uh, Flower Rec. Shop. We'll have them there too. We'll have them at the Rec Department. They'll have them here at Township Hall. Go in there, it'll be like a little trifold. It'll have everything listed. And hopefully we're working on some really cool transportation to get you up and down Macomb Street. But I'm not yeah, going like to. for Island I'm Blower, not so. going to announce anything. Well, there's a few things in discussion that we're really excited about. So, Jim, you wanted to add something? Yeah, Chad. You know, back in the day we had the Azalea Festival, mm -hmm. and of course there's been a lot of uh, talk, concern, complaining, yada 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 that it ought to go back down on. Macomb Street, it should move from the airport. I'll tell you what, having an event like this on that weekend, which a lot of people come back for homecoming, is a no-brainer to do that there. We can have that there, we can have Island Fest here, and there should be no issues that I can right. and this begin is to a, detect. Yeah. This is a time for the businesses to step up down yeah. there on Macomb Street and say, hey, this is what we are. Yep. You know, uh, some festivals outgrow their locations for reasons they can't be there anymore. Um, we had done Centennial Celebration a couple years ago, which was a pretty big hit. So, I mean, I had talked about this for the past three years. It's probably, it's coming to fruition with the right groups involved. Girls Night Out thing worked Girls Night Out was good. Um, Kim and I have talked. We've got a winter fest coming up that this township is going to love. We don't have anything to do. Well, we need a festival in the wintertime, too. We are not just the Island Fest Commission. We are the Festival Commission. We are an events committee. So we are recreation. We need to bring the fun back into recreation. And so I get excited. Any other questions for Chad? Thanks, Chad. <laughs> I, d I just have one, Chad. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about a scarecrow festival that's in Trenton. Are that there any the other fest. festivals that weekend? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Paint the town red. Shameless promotion. <laughs> um, I, I'm just wondering if there are other festivals that weekend that we, in like Trenton particularly, that we should be um, aware of, aware of, oh. and maybe even developing some kind of collaboration with them. Well, the Scarecrow like, Festival. Like, or yeah. Is there anything going to be in in Elizabeth Park? I remember one weekend I couldn't get off the island because there was something going on. I, uh, I and I, I, yeah. I, you know, I, I think if we can collaborate, that would be great. Uh, well, but I just for every festival and every event and every community, you're always going to be up against something. Island Fest seems to fall on uh, the Grand Prix weekend, you know, and there's always something. And the later you go in the season, the more you got up against you. And it's funny that you asked that, Leah, because as of now, that Saturday is the fire department's annual golf outing. <laughs> Which could be moved. Which could be moved because unlike them, we have a lot of advertisement we've already committed to and write ups and et cetera, That's the et cetera. Homecoming. They, and it's the homecoming. So technically, maybe the fire guys would like to do Sunday instead of Saturday, but I'm not worried about that. Like I said, it's for the business owners and the residents and the community. This is your time to shine on Macomb Street once again. This event is be created for you and the community. Right. But yes, Leah, we could work with other groups like that. Yeah, I'm just thinking, you know, if there's a chance to do some, you know, get a big ch a channel television station down here, you know, oh. and, you know, to, to go to both places. Oh, we are looking for celebrity bartenders for the beer garden, and I have a couple people in mind that some sports figures cool. around Detroit. Greg? <laughs> Not Greg. Oh, oh it's his <laughs> turn to speak. Oh, sorry. All right, airport recreation. Greg, you got anything to add? I know we talked a lot about yours. No, I think we pretty much covered everything I can say. So. All right. Schools, Leah, anything for school? Schools um, out? Well, 
Oh, Go sorry. <laughs> sorry, Alicia. Sorry, Alicia. I, I can't see that far. Is it Alicia or is it Libby? It's Alicia. Alicia. All right, Alicia. Yes, Alicia, now. you're on, dear. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Well, even though we've been gone at summer all year, we are preparing to hit this year in full swing. The fall sports recruitment is underway, including the following sports, varsity cross country, varsity and JV football, varsity and JV soccer, varsity and JV tennis, equestrian, varsity golf, varsity sailing, sideline cheer, swim and dive, and varsity and JV volleyball. The boys varsity football team is going to play a game at Wayne State University this August 21st at 1 o'clock p.m. The marching band began, began its season, and band camp was held from July 30th through August 4th. Um, weekly practices are going to be held every Wednesday to continue all the way through November, and that started yesterday. Upcoming events we have are going to be homecoming, which will be held September 18th through the 23rd. The theme this year will be the app games, anything in the app store. Parade, of course, September 22nd, 4 o'clock p.m., the game September 22nd, 7 p.m., and the dance to follow September 23rd. Also, our first day of school will be the day after Labor Day, which is a half day this year. Lucky for us. (laughs) 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 Got excited audience. Cool. Thanks, Alicia. Any questions for Alicia? So why does what does homecoming start when now? Uh, you may be nervous there when well, you announce that 18th day. Homecoming there. week. 18th through the 23rd. That's for school spirit week, spirit days. And what is this app game thing? Is this for your so floats? The theme this year is going to be app games. Yep. What's an app game? Like you know, apps on our phones. Phone. <laughs> Candy Crush. You're you know what they're <laughs> talking about. All right. Bad. I know. It, I don't play those, but I understand. All right. Candy Crush. We got time for that, but. <laughs> All right, app games. All right, thank you, Alicia. Thank you. Alicia, will you pass that down to me so I can... Anne, Playscape, Sunrise Park, you got anything to add? Sure. Um, Under Playscape, I'm glad to hear cameras are installed. (coughs) It will be operational soon, and spraying has been done to control bees. Uh, As far as Sunrise Park, uh, many thanks to the Gross Eel Nature and Land Conservancy for the cleanup effort that was done on July 15th. Uh, many hands make light work, and they were able to put up the kayak slide pilings that morning. Um, and then there was a bunch of other stuff cleaned up. Rocks were removed just to kind of make that hill smoother and then right they put up the pilings and then i was simply amazed later that week that the slide was installed so saturday they had started the pilings on the 15th and later that week the slide was already in um now the uh slide uh, let's see the signage for its use is up and then, as Kim mentioned earlier, there is a usage video, which can be found on the Grossio website. So uh, please use that kayak slide the way it's intended, and just be careful. Uh, the other thing I have is uh, a proposal that we'll be looking at. Hang on one second. Here, I'll do it here. Here, I'll go. Oh. Yes. Okay, this is um, a proposal that was brought to the Rec Commission for us to start looking at. Um, There is a donor that wants to make a donation to the Nature and Land Conservancy and where the orange line would be would be uh, about a 75 foot in length retaining wall that would go along the north side of the stairs at Sunrise Park so it would have to be engineered uh, we have to look and see what kind of money might be available to do that. But what it would do is kind of shore up the erosion that's going on on the north end. And then it would, so just that's just something that's been kind of an idea given to us for us to start looking at. Uh, 
and then we'll have the Nature and Land Conservancy. And uh, my apologies for not inviting them to the meeting tonight. I totally slipped my mind. So, but that was, that information was given to us last week. Nice. All right. Thank you, Walt. <coughs> Questions of Ann? All right, moving on. Discussion items. Oh, I'm my bad. Look at I, I did that segue from the new business. Baseball feels done. All right, user agreements. You want to talk about your user agreements or? Just reading. So I have these. I'm going to distribute to all the commission. Take the weekend to look at it. Come through it. If you could get back to me by Monday with any changes or thoughts that you have. That's what I'm looking for. So Monday, let's try to wrap these up. I want to be able to put these in play. I don't want to hold up football or soccer any longer. They need to get these signed so they can move on with their programs. And this came from the township attorney, so let's not wordsmith them. That's correct. Okay. All right, any other questions for the user agreements? All right, extended public comment, anything? Yes, George? Try to move forward on? All right, say that again now. If, if this is approved, 3A, can we, um, can we start moving forward on? So what we're at right now is we're gonna be taking the first step now that we decided, okay, we like this plan. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to start having discussions with Commerce Park okay. to have the user agreements like what we did for Gyra Football. Okay. That's so this is airport property here, correct? Correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so yes. Okay, because we would like to get into this north end and, and start to clear that. So I guess whenever that's available to us, whenever it's all approved, we'd like to move forward on that. Yep. And yeah, we're you'll just be in contact with Kim. Kim will be in contact with you, and I think you know, right. I think that'll be good, right? Right. Yep. Isn't that where like that plan too? I think this is the one that we kind of all agreed in Lisa. Yes, really like right. That's best. that's the one that I think in that first meeting I was in that we talked about. So. Yeah. yeah. So that, that works well for us, and this would be great being able to use these this airport field, uh, property here for these fields, but we would have to fence that in, obviously. For, right. You know, for traffic out of there, but Correct. but that's way down the road. Um, for now, I, we'd love to go to the north and, and develop this property. So I guess as soon as that's available to us, we could. And that's our property. That. So that's, I mean, is, I don't see no, I mean, you look at the different plans, but Kim will make that call. I, I plan to get in touch with you. Okay. And Kevin. Have kind of a final meeting, get the user agreement signed and move forward. Great. Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you. In, individual commissioner comments. Uh, we'll start off with Alicia. Alicia, you got anything to add? No. Greg? Nothing at this time. Chad? Uh, yes, I got a text during our meeting here. It says uh, that down at Water's Edge, it is completely packed with parking from the maintenance shed all the way down to the river. I have never seen a crowd this big for the Beatles tribute band right now. So are we are wrapping this up soon? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Leah, any additional comments? Yeah, I would just like to uh, wish Ethel Yaps uh, a quick recovery. Uh, if you don't know, she fell in her driveway just caught the flat of her foot and went straight down on her face and and her right arm the top bone whichever whatever that is i don't remember my biology and anatomy is broken and uh, so it's going to be a long and tough recovery for her but she'll be she'll be at home and so make sure that if you're thinking about her send her card or something i visited her on sunday before i went to the jazz festival which, by the way, was fantastic, as always, and closed the park both days. A couple of accidents, but they were legitimate. Man had a heart attack. And, and then my favorite thing to worry about is branches falling out of the tree. And a woman did have a branch fall out and hit her on the head just as we were closing down Sunday night. So, you know. But so anyway, I, I just want to warn everybody, I love the woods, but, you know, keep alert uh, because it, it can happen in a minute. All right, Anne, any additional comments? Um, nope, enjoy the summer, thank you. Jim, Jim, additional comments? One last thing, one of my uh, esteemed trustees on the township board wants me to ask who the current chair 
of the Recreation Commission is. Bald. Yeah, we, Bald. we voted on it. Bald. We're supposed to approve it. Yeah. I don't know if they had a meeting since our last one, did they? The meeting is Monday. The next meeting is Monday. I just wanted to ask for information only. <laughs> Thank you. We were present when we did it, too, I think. Right, Thank any you. other comments? Mm -hmm. Good. Kim, additional comments? Good. Next meeting. All right, oh. next meeting is September we're going with, right? Yeah, we're going to stick to the fourth Thursday of every month at 7.30. All right. So we're going to stick with 7.30 instead of 6.30? Well, today was unique. I was over watching uh, Harvey at the Rose Purple Rose Theater in Chelsea, and we got caught in the traffic. But quite frankly, 6.30 is ordinarily a bad time for me. How about 7? That's better. Okay. So do we, can we agree that at least for the next couple of meetings unless something changes that we will meet the fourth Thursday of every month at 7 p.m. So are we planning on we're, we're, the original one of making an early meeting in August was to cover for August July and, and, July and August okay. and we wanted to get to the concert. So our next <laughs> meeting will be September 28th at 7 p.m. No I'm looking at 20 September I'm looking at September 22nd for the fourth Thursday, one, two, three, four. There's, there's five Thursdays in. Oh no, I'm sorry, you're right. Twenty eighth. Number twenty. So correction on the agenda at the bottom of the agenda. It says next meeting September twenty eighth at seven thirty. We'll make a correction for seven p.m. All right. And it is the twenty eighth. It is the twenty eighth. Uh, yep. All right. We got seven forty nine. Motion to dismiss, adjourn, and second. I'll second. Chad, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Motion passes. Volunteer in your community, please. What time is it? Seven.